write each expression without brackets and with positive exponents. So there's a general rule that we work with. We don't want to leave negative exponents. So don't really worry about the negative exponents until your very last step. So in this situation, there's not much we can do. So I guess we're going to have to deal with that negative exponent, move it downstairs to the denominator and change it to a positive. When I look at this question, B, we're multiplying 4x to the power of 3 times 2x to the negative 4. Now don't think that the 4 and the x cubed are stuck together with glue, right? It's multiplication between those two. So what we actually have here is 4 times 2 times x to the 3 times x to the negative 4. I kind of just rearranged those so we understand a little bit more clearly that this is just 8, right? 4 times 2 is 8 multiplied by x to the power of, okay, we're multiplying powers, we'll add the exponents, and so it's x to the negative 1. Now, we didn't want negative exponents, so what I'm going to do here, and this is important, we leave the 8 up top because the 8 has an exponent of a positive 1, but the x to the negative 1, that's got the negative exponent, so it moves downstairs to the denominator. <coughs> Next question, okay, so 2 to the power of 3, multiplied by, so x to the 4 raised to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. x to the 4 raised to the power of 3. We multiply x to the 12th. In D, so the 5 is outside of the brackets. So we're not going to apply that outside 3 exponent to the 5. It'll just be what's inside the brackets. So we've got 5 times 3 to the power of 3 times x squared to the power of 3. So 5 times 27 times x to the 6. 5 times 27 is 135 x to the 6. This next example, so there's not much we can do with the 5, so I'm going to leave that up in the numerator. Um, the x to the negative 3 divided by x to the negative 2, well, we're dividing powers, so we subtract our exponents. Now I'm going to subtract it in the same order that I'm dividing. So it's x to the negative 3 divided by x to the negative 2. So I'm going to go x to the negative 3 minus the negative 2. So we've got 5x to the power of, so negative 3 minus a negative 2, that's like negative 3 plus 2. So x to the negative 1. And now just like in part B, we leave the 5 up top, the x to the 1 goes down below. Next question. So I see a 3, sorry, a 12 and a 3. We know 12 divided by 3 is 4 over 1, so I'll write the 4 up in the numerator. And then b to the negative 1 half divided by b to the 1. So negative 1 half minus 1. So we end up with 4 times b to the power of negative 3 over 2, which we don't want negative exponents, so I'm going to move that downstairs. And that should be our answer. Now if you're thinking we could write that as a radical, we very well could, but it wanted us to leave it with positive exponents. So I'm going to leave it as, well, as a power. 